In this video, I show you how to run JAR and Java files. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Here is a Java or JAR file which I want to go and run and I'll show you exactly how and it's probably a lot easier than you probably think. When I hover over it, as you can see, it's called an executable JAR file which is probably what you want to go and open. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser and this can be any browser you want it to be and go to a search engine. Then what you need to do is just go and search for something called Java, J-A-V-A, -A, as you probably know what it is, but just go and search for it. Then you go to java.com, which is the official Java website. Now what you need to do is go and click on download Java for get Java for desktop applications. Just click on it just like so. And then as you can see, we've got the 64-bit Java for Windows. This is what we need. Go and click download Java. And the download will begin. As you can see, it's about 84 megabytes. It's nothing too big. And every browser goes and downloads files differently. So your browser may not put downloads in the bottom, but you can always go and find your downloads in a file explorer in your downloads folder. So just wait for this to finish just like so. And then what you need to do is go and find it, whether that be in your downloads folder or in the bottom of your browser, and go and tap on it and you're going to go and get a Windows Creedy pop-up which you need to go and agree to in order to go and install Java and you can now come and close off of your browser. Now in just a moment we're going to go and get a pop-up for Java. Make sure you agree to the license agreement and then go and press install just like so and Java will now start installing. And then after a minute or so, you'll get this message here saying you successfully installed Java and you can go and tap on close. So now what you need to do is go and find the Java or JAR file you want to go and run and go and tap on it once. So in this case, it's this one for me. Then go and right click on it just like so. And what you need to do is tap on open with. Then you need to go and click on choose another app. Now what you need to do is go and find Java TM platform SE binary. When you go and install Java, this should become available. If it's not appearing, then what I recommend doing is going and restarting your system and hopefully then uh, you'll be able to go and get this option here. If you go and choose like the WinRAR archiver, this is just going to go and open up the files and not actually run and execute it. So what you want to do is make sure Java TM platform SE binary selected, and then you can go and tap on always use this app to open .jar files and then tap OK. And then it's going to go and open up and you can then go and do whatever you want with the jar file. In this case, it's Optifine for Minecraft, as I know a lot of people um, do this with Optifine, but you know, it's going to apply to any application which is a Java or jar file. And if after installing Java, restarting your computer and going into the open with settings, then what I recommend doing is then come back to the Java website and make sure you go and get something called JDK, which stands for Java SE Development Kit. Tap here. And what this is, it's a more advanced version of Java, but it may just get things working for you. Um, so once you've installed this, you could then go and right click on the application again and try and install it with Java. It's worth a shot. Um, sometimes it works. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.